Welcome! This is a horse draw-along video and this is going to be a long, slow video to make it easy to draw the horse. And this is the horse we're going to draw. Get your paper and pencil or a drawing tablet and let's get started. A really quick reminder of the first video. We're going to use the box, the cylinder and the stick skeleton. The most important points are in the video as text in case you want to change the settings to speed up or slow down the video. We're going to start by drawing a three-dimensional box. This is the box in which the main part of our horse lives and this will also help us put the hooves firmly on the ground. We're drawing a three-dimensional box. Inside the box we draw a cylinder and that cylinder is most of the horse body, the torso and the back. In the middle of that cylinder is where in a real horse the vertebrae of the back would run. So now we have a horse body. Now we're going to add the legs and we're going to start with the shoulder blades and we draw all the legs, also the parts that we can't see because in reality they are hidden by the body. But by drawing them, even the bits we could not see, we will be able to put the legs in the right spot. I still do it every time I draw a horse. And we don't put the feet exactly in a square, that's a little bit boring. So when I draw lines from hoof to hoof, you get a slightly irregular square. So try that when you draw your own horse. Now we're going to draw the neck and the head. And that is the same for whether you draw the cylinder horse or the skeleton stick horse. So let's put the neck on there. Let's put the head on there. I always draw the front of the horse's head as this blunted kite shape. And then I add the jawline at the bottom. Now I'm going to draw the withers and the vertebrae of the back that end in the tail. I'm drawing around the shoulders a little bit, the chest muscles but I still have to draw the rib cage. that's the rib cage, and that's the line that the body makes with the little bump that the, that the pelvis makes and now it's time to draw the horse like the actual horse, the muscles and everything around the basic stick figure that we drew so drawing the muscles of the upper part of the hind leg and then those big joints and the lower legs as we talked about before are just skin, bone and tendons and even though I don't have to do it I still make that pass at the back of the horse to feel my way around where the leg goes where I can't see it now we're moving on to the front legs and it's the same as the hind legs there are muscles in the upper half of the front leg but not in the lower half big knee joint it looks as if I am ending up slightly before the point of my earlier sketch but that's okay as long as you are at that level where the box sits where the bottom of the box sits if your hoofs are there you are good don't worry too much about it everything else is lining up nicely well look at that we've got a horse now let's add some more detail to the neck and the head of the horse. Adding in the nostrils, the jawline and at the points of the blunted kite that's where the eyes go and at the top we put the ears. It's time to put in some shading. So, do you remember where the sun is? Well, you make up where the sun is, but I'm putting the sun over here. Now that I know where the sun and the light is coming from, I know where my shadows are going to be on the other side. If you enjoy this video, then prove it. Hit that like button. It's really helpful for my channel and I would really appreciate it and keep on shading and if you like you can give the horse actual color either in black and white or with actual color and more shading and the tail add a little bit for the tail 